Maybe there's something even more important that I missed. After all, I didn't ask any questions about height or facial masculinity. Of course he didn't. He's a five foot four manlet. I'm not going to ask girls at the gym, what do you think about height? Hi, ladies. How important is height in a relationship? He's not going to do that. Did some digging and discovered that there's basically an entire field of science dedicated to answering this exact question. And so next on Jeff Nippert, I'm getting limb lengthening surgery because I've discovered that women actually care about height. Way more than I thought. I thought it was just about personality. Jeff, you're a rich multimillionaire with three plus, four plus, five plus million followers. Jeff, you're a famous multimillionaire. It don't matter if you're tall. You'll be four foot four and get girls. 170,000 subjects. It took six stereotypically masculine traits and figured out which one was most closely linked to mating and reproductive success. I'm gonna say height. Remember, I'm just looking at this as you're watching it. I'm gonna say height. Watch Jeff's video and see. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Do I need Jeff to present this in a video? Height, very important. If you go to the bar and you're six foot four, you're getting noticed. When you're a coach, Greg, and nobody sees you, this is what girls see when I'm at the bar. They see my hairline, that's it. They're so tall. But if you're a 6'4", even if you're fat, at least you're getting noticed. You see him. You can see the head walking through the bar. Coach Greg walks through the bar. You don't even see me. I'm covered up behind that fat guy. And so they at least get noticed. The six traits were height, voice pitch, facial masculinity. Voice pitch? It's over for Coach Greg. Height, voice pitch, facial masculinity. Well, maybe I have a little bit of that. Testosterone levels. I got good test levels. I'm on HRT, so I got that. Index finger to ring finger ratio. What the hook is an index ring ratio? Am I good? Girls, is this attractive? Are you wanting to mate with Coach Greg because of my index finger ring ratio? The cool that. And strength and muscularity. Ooh, strength and muscularity. I got lots of that. I got that in spades. And so perhaps that's making up for the height and my voice pitch. Out of these six physical traits, which do you think was most strongly linked to mating success? Height. It was actually strength and muscularity. Yes, strength and muscularity. I have that one. Woo. Woo, getting all the girls, especially the gym buddies. If you dig into the data, all six of these traits combined only accounted for about 5% of the variance in mating outcomes. And so this is where I need to get real with you. If that's 5%, all those things, muscle, facial attractiveness, your height, and all those things, if that's 5%, the only thing that's missing here is money. And so if you're rich, like Jeff Nippert, or perhaps Coach Greg, or Mike Isertel, you're gonna get some girls. It's all about the money. I mean, what else is left? Personality. Oh, it's the personality that counts. Really? When you go to the bar, do you think the girl's looking at you across the room thinking, that guy over there, oh, I can tell he's got great personality. Yeah, because he's hot and 6'4". Remember, there's correlation between personality and looks. They studied people. They said, rank these people based on how nice a person you think they are. And the hotter they were, the nicer they thought they were. And so niceness is equal to hotness. It's equal. It's a direct correlation. Perhaps it's 100%. The hotter they are, the nicer they appear. And so that's the reality of online dating. In other words, these six things that everyone fixates on don't account for 95% of what goes into romantic success. Anyone believe that? Or do you think it's mostly looks and height and then money and personality? It's at least 50% looks and money. Does anyone not believe this? No, oh, it's 5% because the meta-analysis science said that. The science in the real world, remember, I spent 30 years in the trenches for all you. The things I did for my country. Thank me later. And so I'm telling you, it's not 5%. It's the majority. Unphysical stuff is more important to you. Yeah, 100%. You can't have a great body if he's like stupid or just like doesn't have values. It's like, you're out. Yeah, you're out after you've slept with the guy for about three months. Once you've found out that this guy's stupid or has no intelligence. But guess how you found out? You found that out after you slept with him. After you went home with him following the bar. You found out that the guy's an idiot after you slept with him because he's hot and he has a lot of money and he's six foot two. That's how it really works. Oh, and by the way, he can be an asshole. You like assholes, trust me. If you're the nice guy, oh, I'm gonna buy you flowers. I have a crush on the girl at Starbucks. I'm gonna save all those glasses. Whenever she writes my name, I'm gonna save it. And then three months from now, I'm gonna ask her on a date. I'm gonna tell her I saved every cup she ever gave me. Look at my stack of cups. They're gonna say, red flag, buddy is a loser. He's so romantic, loser. The other guy, he's going to go up to you the first day he sees you and say, hey, babe, you want to go out with me tonight? I got a McLaren. 
Yeah. Especially if you're six foot two with a lot of money. They're saying yes. Oh, and add to that a 405 bench and you're a shoe in You practice good hygiene, take care of your teeth, you find a hairstyle that works for your face, and you dress with a style that fits your body shape. But even more important, believe it or not, is being a good person. No, it's not. No, it's not. He's simping right now. He's telling you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. You want to hear, oh, if you're just nice, you're going to get that girl. What, if you pay for dinner? If you open her car door, she's going to sleep with you? No, she's not. It's stupid. And so he shows a clip of two twins, one of which could have won the perhaps the medal. His twin runs by and helps his twin to the finish line. Oh, I want to go out with this guy because he helped his twin in running that race. Yeah, it's great. I liked it. I saw the clip myself just two days ago. But it's not getting you laid. What's getting you laid is these guys are famous athletes. They're athletes. They look like they're over 15% body fat. Famous world elite level athletes, perhaps millionaires. I don't know. And so that's helping them get girls. Not the fact that they're nice, the fact that they're rich, handsome, good looking, and have a good bench press. The neediness and the clinginess that's unattractive. If you're someone who has their shit together, meaning you take care of yourself, you set goals, and you're kind to others, you're going to come off as much more attractive. Big difference between nice and nice and cool. If you're too nice, you're just doing everything for the girl, you're simping for them, you're putting them on a pedestal, you're treating them like a princess. This is not what they want. If they wanted that, they would already have it. They're not going for these guys. These are guys they settle down with when they're in their 30s, when they're all washed up. When they're young and hot and in their prime in their 20s and so on, when they should be looking for a man perhaps 15 years older than them, somebody who's achieved greatness already, they're out sleeping around in their 20s. Oh no, I'm not ready to settle down with. Who do you think they're sleeping with? The bad guy. The naughty guy at the bar. He doesn't give two shits about being nice. He doesn't care about society. He breaks rules. The guys who are out there partying, breaking the law, doing things that have lots of money to spend on them. That's who's bringing them home. And later on, when they're older and they're thinking, wait a minute, I want to have a baby. I'm going to now settle down with who was that nice guy that I didn't sleep with 10 years ago? I'm going to send him a DM. Hey, nice guy, do you want to now finish last? Because I'm done sleeping around. I've had 63 partners. Uh, I'm good now. You have millions of dollars. I have two babies from two guys I don't know. I want you to take care of them, simp. And you do it. You're an idiot. You're a freaking moron. Wake up and watch a Coach Greg video. Researchers compared jerks to so-called nice guys. Only 7% of women picked the jerk. And the kinder the man was portrayed, the more desirable he was. Hi, women. I'm going to do a survey. Would you prefer to sleep with the jerk or be with the nice guy? Oh, I'm picking the nice guy. Oh, see, there's proof that jerks don't cut it. Remember, 30 years in the trenches. I've already done the experiments. I already know the answer. I've been rich. I've been poor. I've never been tall, but I've been everything else. And so I'm telling you, this is bullshit. Even when the researchers made the jerk more handsome, he still lost 85% of the time. You see that guy in the jerk picture right now? That guy? He's getting all the girls. Every freaking one of them. Oh, he's a jerk though. Remember, this is a photo from a mugshot from him getting arrested. I don't know what he did, but he was going to jail, whatever. They love this guy. And do you think they're picking the nice guy, the needy guy, the one that's collected all your Starbucks mugs saying, hey, have a great day, misspelling your name? Do you think that they're picking that guy? The guy that's putting you on a pedestal that's being nice, the romantic guy? Or are they picking Mr. Sexy Blue Eyes who's going to jail? This study surveyed heterosexual, bisexual, and homosexual men and women. In all cases, intelligence and kindness were ranked as being more important than physical attractiveness. I love how Jeff just reads studies and thinks it's true in the real world. Oh, and no matter what your sexual orientation, they preferred intelligence and kindness over physical attraction. Tell that to the girl that settles for the man who is just kind and intelligent, but isn't attractive. I think that when, like, when there's when you see a guy that's like so lean, so muscular, like I've had like instances where like they're just so like full of ego, right. you know, and it's that's like for me that's for sure a turn off. Yeah, and you, why do you think she knows that they're full of their own ego? You know, they're lean and they're attractive and they look great. Why do you think she knows so much about what that guy's personality is? Because she went and slept with him. You ever think of that? What about that kind, nice guy? She doesn't know anything about him in bed. 
because she hasn't slept with him. And she won't until she's in her mid-30s when she realizes, wait a minute, my biological clock is ticking. It's time to settle down. I'd rather like have a, like a nice guy, you know, talk to me. Right. Like yeah, she'd rather have a nice guy talk to her. Who talk about talking? We're talking about getting it down, getting the business going on, getting your freak of the week on harder than freaking last time. Okay. Obviously, I'm not saying that the physical stuff doesn't matter. It does. But the physical stuff that matters the most is probably more within your control than you realize. Like, just working out seems to help. Yeah, and so if you want real advice from a real guy who's done this for 30 years in the trenches, I'm telling you, you need to look good. You need to get into the gym. You need to put the fork down. And if you want to improve your body even that much more and you want an advantage, take Geo2Max and Turk Builder. Why not? Think about it. Remember, other people are resorting to steroids. Don't use steroids. Stay natural. But if you want an advantage over people taking nothing, the top two supplements, Geo2Max and Turk Builder. With these two, you have more of an advantage than last time. Code Greg, 15% off. Click the link in the description. It's what's on the inside that will make me stick around. You need to be hot. You need to have a genuine sexual desire for that person from day one. But what's on the inside keeps the girls. And so you need to have that physical attraction. You need to be the man that she looks at and says, I want to climb this guy like a freaking tree. I want all of that guy all up inside of me. I can't keep my eyes off of him. You want that. And if you don't got that, find someone else because eventually she's going to find that man. Physical is like what you're going to be initially attracted to, but that's not going to last forever. Yeah, it's not going to last forever. It's just about three months. So why do you think these guys benching 405 are going from one girl to the next? because they can. So definitely personality is what I'm gonna look at the most. Yeah, you're gonna look at that the most after you've been banging that guy for three months. As far as I can tell, being a kind person and not taking yourself too seriously is probably your quickest way to becoming a more attractive person. I would argue the quickest way is to go to the gym. Not taking yourself seriously, eh, not gonna really make you look that much better. Go to the gym, get a haircut, and dress nice. That is my recommendation. Becoming the best version of yourself also entails taking care of your health and your fitness. Your health, your fitness, and your finances, Jeff. It's very important. Don't forget about your finances. You really think the girl's going to care if you're healthy and fit, but you're broke living in your parents' basement? It's not going to help. And so that's it for this one. Consider getting the cookbook, the circle diet book, and of course, all of the harder than last time supplements like Seco protein bars, pre-workout, creatine, the list goes on and on. So many supplements have no time to go over all of them. Interested in any of these? Code Greg, 15% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you liked it, and of course, if you're interested in coaching plans by me and my team, if you're interested in the harder than last time clothing line, I've got a tank top on right now, also have hoodies, jogging pants, t-shirts, and so on, get over to the website. Also, if you want the free diet and training program, it's close to 50 pages, you can get that on the website. Join the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers, and until next time, I am out.